world. It's your boy Josh. I'm Keaton, and we just kicking game. Yes, sir. So our first uh, topic of discussion we're gonna talk about is NBA MVP. It's been some high caliber basketball players this season, and from my angle, my point of view, gotta go with Russell Westbrook, man. The numbers he's been putting up this season has just been dumb crazy. 31 points, 10 plus rebounds, 10 assists. I don't know if that's not good. And his team is in playoff contention. Five, six. So if that's not good numbers and producing, I don't know what is. Since, ever since KD left, he's been the only player. He's been going hard, doing what he got to do, getting his team involved. Also, playing defense and rebounding the ball. You can't ask for more in the point guard than that. I agree. It's just one thing. I don't know if he's clutch enough to take his team all the way to the promised land, but one thing's for sure is he can lead a team and definitely should be MVP of this season. Definitely. Uh, I mean, who I want to win, Russell Westbrook for sure, because what he's doing is, is crazy. Nobody ain't did it since Oscar Robinson. But who's actually going to win is James Harden. James Harden... Uh, 42 and 18 right now, okay. uh, third in the West, uh, and we saw the same thing happen with Shaq in, in 04, 05, 05, and 06 when Steve Nash took it because Mike D'Antoni, who is also the, the Rockets coach right now, he, you know, the, the, the system that he has, that, that all offense, no defense, that's, that's what attracts, and right now Harden is averaging 29, 8 boards and 11 dives, so he's right under Westbrook almost having a triple double as well, but he's forty two and eighteen with the same team practically, but a little bit more scoring on it. They're the same team. It is. Uh, I give all respect to James Harden and what he's been doing this season. He's on playing on another level. Right. So that means he's averaging twenty eight, twenty nine, eight boards and eleven assists. That's practically what Westbrook is averaging. Westbrook is averaging what thirty ten and ten. 31. Okay, excuse me, 31, 10. 10.6 10. rebounds and 10.3 assists. So you might as well say 31, 11, and 10. It haven't been done since 1950. Who's in the second right now? Who, who's, in third, who's in third place? It's the Rockets. But MVP is about who who gets their team to, to the playoffs and, and, and who has the more success with their team. And right now, that's James Harden. Yeah, but it's not like Russell Westbrook and them are not even in the playoff race or they're, they're, they're even AFC. They're they're still strong in the hunt. There's still 25 games left. They have a chance to bump all the way up to the four seed if they want to. They still they I feel like they can beat the Clippers. They can beat who else? They can even beat the Rockets. But as of right now, the point is MVP, and I feel like Russell Westbrook has been carrying the team, keeping his team in playoff contention. And also rising the level of his teammates' play. So then, what is what is James Harden doing? He's doing the same thing, and it's and it's, a, and a better and and and, and with, a higher and the, he's doing the same thing, and he's third right now. Their team, his team is third. But twenty nine triple doubles in a season, and we still have twenty five plus games left. He this is record breaking history once in a lifetime. What it we're is. seeing with him, it with is. James Harden. We've seen it before. We've seen great players take over a great team and take them to a great team. Well, a good team. A good team. They're not. They're definitely. That, why I say this is because I know they're not going to win. They're not going to go to the Western Conference Finals. They may even get upset in the second round. I don't believe in the Rockets, which makes me look at James Harden a little differently. Now, moving on from guys who are in the league to guys who are trying to get into the league, which is college basketball. Who is your take or who are you liking to win this upcoming year Final Four and National Championship game, college basketball? Well, you got to throw this out there. Uh, last year, you know, I made a tournament bracket and I chose Villanova to win it all. And they did, you know. I, so it's only right that I go ahead and pick them again. But I just feel like Villanova repeat, man. They just they got the most experience coming back. You got Chris Jenkins, Jalen Brunson, Jalen Hart. You got uh, well, all key factors last year. Now you have them coming back again, all seniors, all three seniors. Well, I think Jalen Brunson is a sophomore, but uh, you bring you bring Malik Bridges off the bench, who who was giving you six point four and three rebounds last year. Now he's giving you ten point five, four rebounds, and even throwing two dimes. 
So I just don't see anyone from from start to finish, just from head to toe on their roster, just pretty better than than Villanova right now. So you're saying you're taking Villanova to repeat? Yeah, I'm taking Villanova to repeat at all. I'm taking them. Uh -huh. as of right now. Now this is before you feel me the bracket and everything come out, but as of right now, I'm taking Villanova. Yes. Have you seen all the teams play this year? And that's granted, right. and that's why I say Villanova's going to repeat. Villanova's been the most consistent. They have. They stayed in the top five. For the whole season, right. projected top five this whole season, but they don't look as good as they did last year, man. The guy with the the game winner was Reynolds, Chris Jenkins. Chris Jenkins, was not looking the same as he did last year. He got to sell out a couple of. He, they they made him sit down just to you know get his shot back because he was clanking. Hart is the key to that team, the heart and soul to that team, and they go as far as he takes. Pun them. intended. But I don't think. He has that it factor enough to get them to the promised land again. That's why they're there. I feel like they're just a team. That's why I'm taking the Duke Blue Devils, baby. Cameron Crazies, man. That's what we're going with. <laughs> we're going with Duke Blue Devils, man. You know why? Because we got Jason Tatum, who's coming to his own, averaging 18 points, almost double digit rebounds with what, three, four assists a game. I mean, those are all great numbers, Then bro. you got Kendrick who can knock down three, create his own shot. <laughs> With Jefferson in the post getting rebounds. You got Harry Giles coming off the bench. Come on, man. You got the Jones guy. We, we got a so, lot of I feel pieces like that play as a team you, to make us win. Are you speaking of Duke playing North Carolina, or are you speaking of Duke playing Syracuse? Well, Duke has proven we can beat North Carolina. That's been done already this right. season. So are you saying Duke that play against North Carolina or a Duke that does uh, dumb things? Oh, okay, I get your like question now. Syracuse. I get your question. Syracuse actually, they got lucky, man. That was a a, a lucky game. He was they, killed, the, the point guard was killing them the whole game. He had game. a good game. Grace Snell was in foul trouble the majority of that game. Kenner was in foul trouble the majority of that game. And, you know, that Syracuse zone is sometimes a little scary. But... We knocked down shots. I just felt like Duke forced their shots so, at the end of the game. What Duke are we getting? That's my question. What Duke are we getting? That's the only one. I, that's the only thing. I Coach Hill gonna make sure they come ready. Like he did, like Jabari. He's gonna Lehigh. come ready. But I'm gonna say Duke is my bias pick. Duke is my bias pick because, I, of course, I'm a Duke Budo fan. But no bias over here. I speak the facts, truth. <sighs> Shake it to a different subject. We're gonna go ahead and go into college football. Uh, how do you feel about? Uh, Players sitting out in bowl games. I actually like it. Well, um, it's, it kind of depends on the subject or the situation. The subject we have the way. I just told you the, <laughs> the situation. Excuse me. If players who are already high draft picks and are on their way to get millions of dollars in the league, why risk the chance of playing in the bowl game? There's no point. There's no need. There's no reason. Selfish is what you are. Yeah, you can call it what you want, yeah, but if yeah. he gets hurt. And he's out for the majority of the time or tears ACL. Who's going to be selfish then? The university because they're still getting their millions. The NFL because they're still getting their millions. So deuces, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I wouldn't do the ball game I mean, if I'm a player who's a good player, top five, top ten pick. So someone like myself. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm one to ten not to throw shade. <laughs> <laughs> The shoe fits, do not wear it. <laughs> I mean, I got two different sides of the, you know, part of me is like, you know, these, these are your brothers that you, you know, you put in that work with and that grind with. And I feel like, you know, y'all got to this point, so why not go ahead and finish? But then the other part of me is like, I need that bread, so I'm going to go ahead and shake and uh, make sure my peoples is good. But it, it, you got two sides to it, there, though, man. There's no but to it. It is. I mean, only if you're not a top player or or you're a player who needs to rise his draft stock. If you're a player who needs to rise draft stock, you need the ball. So, game. so you okay? What about the the fifty second man on the roster that is like, okay, I can win a ring now. This is my chance. And the dude, and you just, oh, I'm cold. Like, you feel me? How you think he feel? I I, I put these this work in with you in spring. Well, in usually, summer. if you're the fifty two man on the roster, you're not playing anyway. <laughs> So their thoughts and opinions but doesn't matter. But the ring is the only thing that matters. Ah, uh, and it does. But, but, not in college, but not, but not, but not saying that. I, I definitely understand the fact that look, I'm not trying to get hurt. I got people that need my bread, and I mean that that need that I need to feed. So I understand that if you got a chance to do that, 
by all means. I also I just get the the other side of it too. How you know the people should should really just sit down and think about it. Like you know these people have have went through through everything together in the off season and, and during the season. Very true. It's uh, it's 50 But uh, being that I play football, I definitely understand that you're talking about the brotherhood and the camaraderie of the whole situation. But right. if they're really your homeboys and they really care about you as much as they say they do. Once you get those men, hey, bro. You, oh, no, for sure. I'm flying you out sure. to Cali, bro. I'm for flying sure. you out to Miami. We, we living it out. Hey, hey we, 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 make, we make, make it real. It's, it's, no, it's no biggie, especially if you're a top 10 pick. If you're a top brutal. 10 pick, you got money to blow. And so, you'll take care of your buddies. You take care of your teammates. Bottom and trip to Vegas, whatever. And they'll forget all about the ball game. I guarantee you. Hey, all my homies, I got definitely got a first class Greyhound ticket for you. So Hey, we hey, I, Amtrak, shout out Amtrak, man. <laughs> to my college days, man. Right? Hey, nah, but I understand that though, as me being a former elite uh college athlete myself, you know, uh I understand that I'd definitely go ahead and shake too, man. I wouldn't you know, it ain't no need for me standing around and, So can you make so. this argument? That I won this argument? No. Ah, you 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 gave out mediocre facts, you know. But I think I, you know the fans, you know, will, will definitely see that not only am I the guy with the plans, but I'm also the man. <laughs> well, y'all, that's the wrap <laughs> on the show today. It's been an honor blessing y'all. It's been an honor y'all tuning in with us. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you want to see, you, how we can yeah. improve, all that. Yes, sir. Appreciate